I've come to Leicester to investigate some reports of strange rumblings. Been aware of any seismic activity, any earth tremors no. recently in Leicester? No. Have you felt the tremors? Have oh, I felt the tremors? The earth tremors? Only when I haven't taken the tablets. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I think I did the other night. Did you? Yes, it's, it's happened before. Oh. Of course, the rumblings aren't the work of Mother Nature, but of excited Leicester City fans. A late winner against Norwich measured 0.3 on the Richter scale and has been dubbed the Vardy Quake after the club's top scorer, Jamie Vardy. Excitement over the Fox's continued success is gripping and galvanising the city, but his anxiety over them doing what many considered impossible finally kicking in. For season ticket holder and fireman Mick Grucock, this is unknown territory. Leicester have just looked invincible. We don't look as if we're going to lose, and that's the thing that scares me the most. I have, I have a, an expectation of coming away with points, and I've used to have that. At what point did you start to get nervous? I mean, in the beginning, it was just like a bit of fun. They were doing quite well, and now it feels like you could actually get the biggest prize in English football. February. I was nervous in February because I thought the bubble was going to burst, and we're now in March, and we're still there. Two points clear with the game in hand, so yeah, look at your face, I'm nervous. <laughs> Excitement <laughs> nervous. A handful of fans have gone one step further by backing Leicester to win the league at the start of the season, some at odds of 5,000 to one. I saw the odds, I had some spare money left over, so I decided to put a couple bets on. I cashed out on one of them. And they gave you how much? They gave me 1,600. Why did you panic? I'm a student, so I need the money. <laughs> I need the money. And you've cashed it as well, John. At what point did you say enough is enough? When the wife wanted a new kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it's still going to be tight right till the end of the season. But after West Brom, I checked to see what it would be if I was to cash it. Then they say 16,000. But then on Wednesday, Tottenham, Man City, and Arsenal all lost. And I asked again, and they said 29. And I said, OK. Are you going to go the full distance? I believe Leicester can do it. They got the squad, they got the spirit, and there's a the momentum there. Um, so I, I love to keep it there. On. It's all of our dream to win the league anyway, and the fact that you potentially got 50 grand riding on it is possibly a bridge too far for our attack. <laughs> Well, the match has already started, and I'm wondering if we're going to be in for another Vardy quake. Well, luckily, Adam Harper from the University of Leicester is monitoring the situation. Now, the goal that your equipment measured was actually a last-minute winner against Norwich. Now, was that the sound of pure joy that you picked up, or was it the vibrations of relief? I think it was a mixture of both, really. I mean, that crucial 89th minute deciding goal, that obviously is going to be something for the fans to really celebrate. We synced up the goal time with our machinery back at the university, and then we realised it was actually a goal scored. I mean, an earthquake could be going off now. We could be recording it just now. I can now. feel the ground yeah. moving. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I can't believe that we've just had a goal scored while we're yeah. actually on here doing this. So the waves created by the fans cheering, that is now traveling through the ground as we're standing here, and that's going to be picked up on our machinery at the university. Could it be bigger, do you think, than the one you got before? Who knows, maybe if the fans are giving it all they've got, then maybe, yeah. And it was. Measuring 0.5 on the Richter scale, Leicester City's incredible season rumbles on.